Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I'll be sharing with you guys Chanel's fall collection, La Tara de Chanel. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. Okay, so today I am going to talk about the fall limited edition of Chanel, La Tara de Chanel. And I have the eye palette on my eyes right now. I believe this is imitation. And I am going to now apply the blush with you guys. And the blush that I got is the powder blush called Blood Orange, which is, I believe, a matte. This is how she looks. I've tried this a couple of times. So it's a matte orange blush. And it has the embossing. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I will be applying this with the Chanel blush brush. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today there are two products I wanna share from this collection that I currently have on. The polish that I have, it is not the one from the collection, but it's very similar or inspired by that. I believe the shade is called Ginger, and this is a very trendy fall polish, you guys. I have seen it, a lot of people doing this kind of, I don't know how you would describe this, like a, a beige peach but anyway you guys so I purchased the palette and the blush the palette in initiation and the blush in blood orange which is both what I have right now I will be swatching it for you guys and sharing my thoughts let's begin with the palette so as always it comes in the velvet pouch I've removed it from the pouch and of course it comes with when you open it the plastic cover and the applicators which I rarely ever use this is the color story of initiation you guys so immediately it's an all matte palette with very neutral colors but I think what drew me to this it's they're very warm but more of a fall kind of neutral I'm gonna swatch them for you guys right here you guys swatch you can see they are very light this is not an extremely pigmented formula and I think for me even for Chanel palette this is on the lighter side of pigmentation I'm not gonna lie but it still translates very good in the eye. I don't know how it's done because the swatches don't look like much. I did kind of have to dig a bit in there to kind of get something that's a bit more visible, but they're very light. And to be honest, I think they just kind of give a whisper of a difference. They blend really well though, but this is not a fully pigmented palette. If that's what you're looking for, I don't think you are going to be happy with this one, but for people that like very natural look this is a beautiful palette because there is no fallout it's not messy you don't have to be a makeup artist to make it work you just kind of probably have to dig in there a bit so even the darkest shade is a little on the fainter side this is like a grayish taupe brown and the rest of the three colors are gorgeous but they just really give slight nuances of each other and this is how it looks on my eye I'm gonna try to zoom in a bit okay you guys so on the eye this is how she looks so in spite of it being very light when you swatch it it translates pretty good on the eye and it is a very classic natural 
neutral look but a bit more fall warm if that makes sense it gives more of an autumn color scheme for the warmth this is the blush and blood orange I just showed you guys the application of that and it is a beautiful matte orange so that is initiation this is I'm gonna swatch this for you this is the blush in blood orange again it comes with a velvet pouch this one does not come with an applicator just the blush I will swatch this for you guys and it has that embossing of like tarot cards or a, a card deck this is how she looks and if I put it over here it's like a, a matte, not really bright orange, but definitely an orange. This one is a bit more pigmented. You can immediately see, but also it still blends so well on the skin. This is a beautiful complexion or a blush product. As always with the Chanel collections, their complexion products or their blushes are hands down, no fail, always a winner. I did not get the lavender one, but now I am very intrigued and actually curious to try it out because the formula of this is so good, you guys. Um, if you saw how I applied it, it was very easy and it blended so seamlessly well even without really buffing the brush almost just like stamping the blush brush and the pigmentation is just right not too much still very elegant but the payoff is immediate it shows and it's just a beautiful i think it's just a beautiful complement to the initiation palette So that is about it, you guys. Those are the two products from the Chanel fall collection that I decided to pick up. I think they're beautiful. I think especially when it comes to the blush, you can't go wrong. The eye palette, I think, is also beautiful. It's, it may not be very, very pigmented, but the color payoff and the color scheme is still very fall. And when it shows up on the eye, I mean, when you put it on the eye, it still shows up pretty well in spite of not maybe swatching as good it's an all matte palette as well so i believe you can find use for this way beyond the fall that's it you guys if you have any questions you can leave it in the comments down below i hope you found this video interesting and informative thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys have a great day or great evening